in this week we are going to continue lesson number three which is write and solve addition and subtraction equations we will talk more and more about the concept of equation simple one we will start about addition and subtraction first and what's the concept of inverse relationship and using the probability of equality to solve one step equation as you can see in example number one we are going to use the inverse relationship between addition and subtraction in order to keep the variable alone we call that uh, solving for that variable some of the students keep asking we can solve this uh, type of equations by guessing yes you can do that but we want to use the properties so later on when equations are going to start being complex you are going to follow the same steps as you can see all the examples in your book will give you either the additive um, inverse or subtractive inverse we will go through that so uh, if we come to key concept if I have an equation and I have a variable uh, and there is another number beside it if the uh, operation between that variable and the other number is addition so I need to subtract that number if the operation is subtraction I need to add the same number that will leave that variable alone so I can figure the value of that uh, uh, variable I want you to check your BC as you can see uh, today we're going to go many videos related to that concept you can see videos you can see um, exercises you can see uh, worksheets that will help you a lot next we will move to lesson number 4-4 which is writing write and solve multiplication and division equation we will keep the same idea but instead of working with subtraction and addition we are going to use multiplication and division equations again the concept on, of inverse relationship is the main idea we are going to do again the inverse what is the infer, inverse of multiplication division and again what is the inverse of multiplication division so when we are going to do examples in your book we want to keep the equality do you remember the scale we want to keep the scale balance balance but again instead of using uh, addition and subtraction we are going to use uh, division or multiplication here for example I have a variable which is X in order to solve for X I need to keep the x alone isolate x how can I do that by the uh, inverse operation uh, in each case again we can see here example number two we have the variable t is divided by 15 again I want to isolate the t what is the operation between the t and the 15 it is uh, division the opposite of division is multiplication so, so I'm going to multiply by 15 what will I end up when divide by 15 multiply by 15 1 so t times 1 will not change the value this is the concept okay so I can uh, get the final answer again teacher if you multiply one side you have to do it the same on the other side you can also check the key concept you have a variable multiplied for something or divided by something you are going to use the inverse operation notice that we only use one step to solve this is what we call one step equation again your bc pages is full of videos uh, very useful Again, you can see uh, practice, you can see uh, worksheets, and so on. Fair to them.
After that, we are going to listen 4-5, which is write and solve equations with rational numbers. Here we have the same uh, idea, only we are going to focus to deal with fractions and decimal. Uh, they could be mixed numbers or improper fractions, whatever. So basically, it is the main idea, but we are going to use, let's say, some more complex examples. You can see here example number one. Uh, again, we have x as a variable, and the number that uh, that's added to it is a fraction. So I need to deal with that. We'll come to that later. Here also, you can see this uh, example. Example number two. Again, we have a, b, c. Uh, each one. Uh, we will do the same. Again, we are focusing on dealing with uh, fractions. Or we can say rational numbers. By reviewing key concepts, you can see four examples for the four operations in math. Here we have a variable that uh, we have a number that's added to it. Here uh, a variable with subtraction. A variable with multiplication, a variable with division. And again, we need to deal with decimals and fractions. Again and again, your BC is full of uh, helpful um, videos. Check them and refer to the worksheets. Good luck, everyone. See you later.